Alrighty boys, welcome back to another video. So what we're gonna do is that this is gonna be the second one. Um for we're gonna be doing Urtree Burial Watchdog, Patches, and Stone Digger Troll. Because that is the current next ones, and the tips for these are two of which are the same type of tip. It says use Caden's Cell Sword Ashes, which we don't get until the Ernie and we beat a boss there. So we're not doing that. Other than that, it says use crystal darts so it targets summons, so. I guess we'll put on summons for that fight. Um, uh, we died imps. All right, well, we're just going to go right back down. If we pick up any crystal darts along the way, we'll use them. But besides that, we're not going to try using them at all. them all in here. Don't mind wasting all my pots just to do that. Where's the lever? Guess we'll just ball whatever. So no crystal darts, but yeah, so Urtree Barrow Watchdog's here, so we'll just summon this. Because it does say you summon the crystal darts, but we don't have any. I'm not going on my way to get those. Stance break. Hit him. Da 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 da. And so we get the normal sorcerer ashes and we just return. So then, all, it just says summon ashes basically, because we can't get the Kaiden Cell Sword and then use crystal darts so it doesn't target you. But it, it's not that big of a problem if you're not dumb. Yeah, because it, it kicks me off because we can't technically go in there until we beat whatever. Or can I? We can't. Damn. All right. So you can't cheese it. Uh, the dude's gonna be summoned over there. Now, if I do remember like the tips, it's basically there's a guy that will just spawn in. All right, easy. Yes. 
So I don't count that as a boss, because that's just... Like, it has a boss health bar, but it's an NPC at the end of the day, so I don't really care. It's just a meaningless little NPC fight that's easy as fuck if you have the right tools, so whatever. Actually, I should probably level up my, my Vigor now that I actually got some runes from that, so let's do that. Do, do, do. So the entire tip for fighting patches is quite simple. It is just attack him until he says surrender. It just says, it says slow down until he surrenders is basically what it tells me. So we'll go steal his clothes and do all that. Da, 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 da. Now, Patches is technically an NPC fight as well, but he has his own boss arena, so... Oh, they also say, uh, try to dodge his, um, breath attacks and stuff. It does actually mention this attack. Yeah, it just says avoid the breath attacks and um, attack him and slow down so you don't actually accidentally kill him. And, and it also tells you do not. It says wait until it says enemy felled. Forgive and forget. Alright. So now we did his uh, quest. Or we didn't do his quest. We beat... So, so far, we've beaten the Earth Tree Burial Watchdog. Which, it just says... use. It basically tells you to use Ash of Wars. Or use your um, summons. Your Ashes. And use crystal dart so it doesn't target you. Well, we can't do that, so that's whatever. Patches is done now, which is slow down until he surrenders, is what it literally tells you. So that's done. And then we're going to be doing stone digger troll, which says use Caden cell sword ashes or jelly ashes and to use sleep pots. So in order to use sleep pots, we're going to go up here and we're going to go get the item so we can make sleep pots. That's why I bought all those pots earlier. Now it says no matter what your arcane stat is, you should be able to sleep pop them. Sleep pop the stone digger troll because it has a, like a negative resistance to sleeping or some shit. So we can't talk to him yet because he's not part of like any of our shit. So we're not even going to bother. I have not leveled up my weapon at all. And I have not. I have not like invested in anything besides HP at this point. And if we ever need levels for something, we'll just grind for levels. But I plan on doing basically every boss this way. Any, like, actual boss... NPCs, I don't really count besides patches. And... And, like, Everjail ones, I guess is the best way of putting it. Because, like, I didn't think about the Reduvia guy, but it's just whatever. Alright, now, can we craft a pot? We need a Trina Lily and a Mushroom. So, where can we get those? Um, I'm not sure where to get them. So, yeah, uh, we'll go get the map and stuff real quick. Gives me a map, and then there's, uh, I think, some tiers up here we can grab real quick. Now we got the spike cracked here. We don't need this either. It's just something I'm grabbing so we have it. 
Now, we're going to go do the Stone Digger Troll, which is down here. Um, we only need the Jelly Ashes, so we'll go real quick, go grab those. So, like, it tells you to use Kaiden, the Kaiden Cell Sword Ashes, but you have to beat a different boss, so it's not worth it. Yep, give me this one. Hurry up. Yep, I'll take the jelly. Uh, I thought there was a stone down. Yeah, there it is. Okay. So we'll probably go down and do Castle Morn and all that before we even fight Margit. I know I said in the first video I might fight Margit, but I'm not sure if I'm going to do that just yet. Because I kind of want to clear out as much of the grave as possible and then go from there. Like, this is, this is going to be a really long series. Is best is the best way of me putting it right now. Now, I could use sleep pots and stuff, but I don't have that luxury, so we're just going to use the jellyfish because it's what's recommended. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, there we go. We got the actual stance break on him. Jellyfish coming in handy right now. Damn, he has a berserk attack pattern? That's crazy. Dude, the defense is pretty good on my weapon. Or on my armor. Jellyfish doing God's work. I'd love to see it. All right. And that's the three bosses. It literally tells you to run the jellyfish, summon Caden Cell Sword if you can, but I. Other than that, it says use crystal darts, which I didn't have, so I just summoned dogs, which works. Um, and for patches, just don't kill them. That's all the requirements say. So I think we did pretty good. And I think we're going to go back here because there's a, there's a couple more that I need to clean up. We might do a couple harder ones and then go from there. But I think we can level up. Because we're just going to probably pump Vigor a lot until we can't no more and go from there. But yeah, I think that's going to be it for this video as well. It's pretty short, but so far we're sticking pretty close to the wiki. I'm probably going to try enforcing it a lot harder the later on we get in. But right now we're early game. So I don't really care, and these are a bunch of side bosses anyways.